Hey there, folks. Today we have one of the coolest projects ever. Well, I guess that you would need to pardon the cool pun because we'll be using dry ice to supersaturate an isopropyl alcohol atmosphere in a soda bottle over a steel plate to make visible the meteor shower-like condensation trails produced by natural background ionizing radiation. If you have ever seen an image of the amazing swirls and lines produced in the particle detector of a particle accelerator in a high school chemistry or physics textbook, then you have a pretty good idea of what we were going after here. Basically, this is a DIY particle detector, which is also known as a cloud chamber. I'll up the coolness factor here by mentioning that the cloud chamber is a window into the quirky world of quantum mechanics, which is basically the super tiny scale of the universe where the normal rules of mass, matter, time, and space do not seem to apply in the same way that they do in our much larger perception of the universe. Now, as I show you the very simple and pretty cheap build, I will attempt to describe some of the terms and science that apply here. Ionizing radiation is either a subatomic particle or an electromagnetic wave that has enough energy to change the charge of an atom by blasting away electrons. They all have different energies and take different amounts of shielding to stop, so some do more damage to you and the environment than others. Subatomic particle ionizing radiation includes alpha particles, which are helium nu nuclei, beta particles are just fast-moving electrons, and neutron radiation. X-rays and gamma rays are electromagnetic ionizing waves. Now, we can mention cosmic rays here, but they are kind of a shotgun blast from space made up of the more or less familiar ionizing stuff and a witch's brew of high-energy subatomic particles. As a courtesy to both you and my brain, I won't spend time on them here, but you need to know that they can add to your meteor shower and a bottle experience. You will note that the definitions combine the ionizing characteristics of subatomic particle radiation and electromagnetic radiation at frequencies above visible light in the electromagnetic spectrum. The microwave radiation from your cell phone or the static electricity that gave you the worst shock of your life does not possess the characteristics of ionizing radiation and will not harm you in the same way even though they are both electromagnetic radiation. Remember, quantum physics is quirky, and waves and particles can be the same thing, and how much energy and frequency they have determine what they are and what they can do, etc. Visible light is electromagnetic radiation too, so don't worry, that is as technical as I'm gonna get here in this video. Also, I'm not going to attempt to assign a particle type to the trails that you see in the chamber, mainly because I'm not a scientist. However, there are basically three signatures that I could see when testing, and they showed up as a very common short squirt, the tiny curly french fry, and the rare but enormous linear blast of condensation. Here is some real-time footage of the effects that you can see in your cloud chamber. I lost track of trying to count the trails. If you can get a count, put the number in the comments. I'm sure that we can have some fun with this. Thanks for watching, folks. I certainly hope that y'all enjoyed this episode. That is actually the last episode of Season 1 of the Nagdrick Project. Season 2 is planned to start early next year, and until then, I am planning to upload occasional shorts and maybe a few other fun things, so stay tuned. As always, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. It really does help me out considerably. I'm Jay. Have fun, be safe, and I will see you next time.
failure. Oh, utter failure. Utter failure. Oh my goodness. My least favorite part of making videos. Makeup. Uh, All right, folks, so I'm out in the wild here. Well, I can't say the least manly thing because if I did, I'm sure somebody would get mad. But All right, Thunder. Can you dance? Oh, boy. Thunderbird.